set to go up to track announcer Larry Letterman just pointing out no maiden has ever won the three diamonds. That would be number four, Heather's Halo. With that in mind, up to Larry Letterman. Thanks again, Gary. Superfield lined up. Gate moves away at 40 miles an hour, and they're off. An impressive air on the outside, compelled and propelled to go after the lead. Dominatrix on the inside is filling in the gap. On the outside, what a plea for the lead is Jenny's money. As they head around the turn, easily getting to the front is impressive air. A length and after the good. Doesn't want to fight it out for the lead. Jenny's money happy to sit in second, though wants to go on. And well, let's try to calm her down. A length and on the inside of Dominatrix now. And as he thinks that things are going a little bit too slow up front, and a young quirks Dominatrix to go after the lead in a quarter of 27 and four fifths. Bend to the back side and over the limestone carpet and under the lights. It's Dominatrix now spearheading the field. Here are the challenges are coming. Future Melbank. Short and experienced, long on talent, and she is stretching her legs with a patch and plea for the lead. And it is Future Milbank going to work to the lead on the inside, trying to soften her up a little as Dominatrix in the offing. Here comes Mataroni going right up after Future Milbank. In the offing, getting things going is Heather's Halo as they come over to the halfway point. Also getting out of there, Juliet's fate in a sweet spot and is progressing as well. Shuffle back, impressive air on the inside, on the outside. And going forth over a genuine lady with heavy traffic. Then a length on the outside, the village sovereign got a big hole to climb, backed up. On the inside, Jenny's money and finally possessive Jade. The half went in a spirited 56 and 3. They're on the turn in the tug of war for the lead. Mataroni on the outside. Heather's Halo has side by side and stride for stride. Here comes Juliet. Faith would be undefeated to fall, but for a head, and she looms large and coming up three wide. Three quarters and one 24 and 3. They're in the lane. On the inside, Mataroni sent to the Hilton going full tilt. On the outside, future Milbank. Can't she do it? Just a fourth lifetime try. Coming on strong is Juliet's fate, but she might be running out of ground. And Future Milbank, what a future she has. She's all that, then some a whole lot more. She's done it. Future Milbank scores in big time by better than three. Juliet's fate second, Mataroni faded to third in an eye-opening one, 53 and three. She's the real deal, Gary. Around all week saying this Philly's gonna win this race and your prediction came true. Well, I don't think I said that because I don't usually say those things, but uh, you know, she was uh, so well last week, and uh, but you know I was concerned because she was so green. Uh, she came, uh, came back tonight, and she was even better in the last week, uh, like a better mannered, more relaxed, and I had to use her twice, and uh, you know she responded at the end uh, just like an old racehorse. Let's take a look at the uh, the race here. You took the lead just past the half. Mataroni took the lead away from you, so you're sitting second right here. What are you thinking right about this point? Mataroni's just about done, right? Uh, yeah, and uh, I know she, my, my filly was going to dig in at the end, but I didn't want to pull like on John too early because, you know, after all, she's a green filly. And, uh, but she just went on at the, right at the wire. She, was, she kept, uh, kept going at the wire. Not bad for a $5,200 purchase, huh? Well, I'm, uh, I'm very happy for uh, Carl Conti. He owns uh, part of the Philly, and it uh, can't happen at a better time for him. Congratulations, Mike Lachance. Carl Conte Jr. said this Philly's a natural. She proved it tonight, Gary. All right, Ken, thanks so much. Congratulations to Mike Lachance and the Triple T Racing Stable, owner of Future Mill Bank. And it is official. 860, 480, and 280. Juliet Spade, game second, 360 and 260. And Mataroni, 220. The two-year-old Philly pacing ranks up for grabs.